It is early morning on the farm. The chickens are coming down from their roosts. Farmer Brown is going into the hen house. One of Farmer Brown's first chores in the morning is to give the chickens fresh water. These chickens are called white leghorns. They're good egg layers. Now the chickens are coming out to the chicken yard for their breakfast of corn and grain. They pick up food with their sharp beaks. They also eat gravel. It helps to grind up the hard food in their gizzards. Chickens do not have teeth, so they swallow their food whole. This is a hen. Hens are females. Notice her small red comb. Because a chicken's eyes are on opposite sides of its head, it looks first with one eye and then with the other. The rooster is a male and is always taller than a hen. You can tell he's a rooster by the large red comb on top of his head and the long red wattle on his neck. Here is a rooster and a hen. Now can you see the difference between them? Farmer Brown lets some hens sit on their eggs until they hatch. Here is the first baby chick. Soon the other chicks will be hatching. Mother keeps her baby chicks warm. In a day or so, all the chicks will be out of their nest, following mother around the yard. These chicks have been born on the farm, but most chicks are born away from the farm. The freshly laid eggs are gathered from the nest and sent to places where there are large, electrically heated incubators. The incubator looks like a large chest of drawers. It will hold hundreds of eggs at one time. The eggs are placed in the drawers where they'll stay warm like the eggs under mother hen. It has been several days since the eggs were put in the incubator. Every day the eggs are turned. Let's see what's happening inside this egg. In just three days, the little chick has already started to form. In a few more days, we can see a black speck, which is the little chick's eye. If you look closely, you can see the heart beating. And now, nearly three weeks after the egg was laid, the tiny chick is ready to hatch. The little chick is moving inside the shell. He's trying to break out. And now all the eggs have hatched, hundreds of them. Listen to the baby chicks peeping. The newborn chicks are put into cardboard boxes, which can be shipped to the farmer. This box is for Farmer Brown, who will take it directly to his brooder house. The little chicks will stay in the brooder house until they're stronger. They have a coat of soft yellow down. Now they are two weeks old. Look how well this chick stands and drinks. In a month's time, white feathers and little red combs will begin to appear. In two months' time, the chickens are almost full grown. They're ready to join Farmer Brown's flock. Farmer Brown does not only keep chickens on his farm, but he also raises ducks. This is a baby duckling. 
Ducky and the other ducklings are going for their first swim. They waddle down to the water's edge as fast as their little legs will carry them. Father and mother duck go into the water first. The ducklings follow. They don't need any lessons in swimming. Ducks have oily feathers which help them float. They also have webbed feet which make good paddles. Can you see them? Mother duck scoops up food from the bottom of the pond with her broad, flat bill. Other ducks look for seeds and tiny bugs along the water's edge. Little ducklings grow quickly. These four-week-old ducklings are almost the size of grown chickens and as noisy. Mother and father duck are always nearby, ready to protect their babies. Farmer Brown will keep his ducks until they're large enough for market. Then he'll raise another flock. Mrs. Brown keeps a few geese to sell for spending money. Here she is coming out of the goose house. What is she carrying in her basket? Why, they're goslings, only a few minutes old. Mrs. Brown has taken them from their nest so that they will not be accidentally stepped on by the older geese. She will keep them in the farmhouse kitchen until they can take care of themselves. The goslings are a week old. They're covered by yellow down, the same as baby chicks. Now the goslings are about six weeks old. They will not look much like their parents until their feathers begin to grow. This is the father goose, or gander. And this is mother goose. Geese are as much at home in water as on land. Their strong legs and webbed feet make them powerful swimmers. Notice how their long necks help them reach for food. Farmer Brown also keeps a large flock of turkeys. There are some baby turkeys in this cage. Shall we look inside? These baby turkeys were born in an incubator only three days ago. They're protected from cold or damp weather. The turkey yard has many shelters for these large birds. There are also feeding boxes. Turkeys like to roost off the ground. That is why they sit on the roofs of their shelters. These are young bronze turkeys. This is a female, or hen turkey. These are male, or tom turkeys. Listen to them gobble. Soon they'll all be large enough for the Thanksgiving table. So we have seen all the different kinds of poultry on Farmer Brown's farm. Can you answer these questions about them? What do chickens eat that helps grind up their food? How long does it take for an egg to hatch? What is on a duck's feathers that helps it to float? What kind of feet do ducks have? Why were the goslings taken out of their nests? What is Father Goose called? What sound do turkeys make? And the last question is, would you like to run a poultry farm of your own someday?